What's up YouTube? All Pro Exterior Services here again with another video. Just finishing up some stuff on the trailer. This is the plate to mount the proportion. If you remember me talking about this in previous videos, I plan to use this two inch hole saw, bimetal hole saw bit that I just got from Home Depot. Drill my three holes for the head, for the knobs of the proportioner to come through. So my, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, got a piece of wood here. Went ahead and measured it out, same size as the plate, just about. I'm gonna use this as a template so I can cut my three holes and make sure they fit on a proportion or nice. I'm trying not to have too many gaps, and of course, you know, you got to kind of get it accurate. Uh, so I'm gonna get the rolling here. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm doing, and as I do this, I'll progress through it and take video footage for you guys. All right, catch up with you in a minute, guys. Just letting you know kind of what I did here. I kind of made a template just out of some piece of plywood and it fits as you can tell right there perfectly so anyway I use this as a template right so how I come up with this template is I measured center line to center line to center line and that's kind of how I got my template set up so uh, here's the metal we started cutting with the hole saw and I made a center point took this just made a center point and that's my first hole right that's going to be the center proportioner and then i came out the distance i needed and the distance i or i'm sorry this way the distance i needed so here's hole number one hole number center and then in and that's how it's going to work so bit's good it's just very aggressive man this thing is it's like an alligator teeth we got metal everywhere so be careful always wear your proper ppe you don't want no metal in the eyes so we're going to go ahead and finish cutting on this and see how it fits. Keep you posted. Guys, got it all cut out as you can see here. This is the way it's going to look. Of course, I ain't got the knobs on there yet. I had to take them off. Kind of get an idea, but it, it fits well. So I did notice the plumbing's a little bit in the way because it was leaning up against the rail right here. So we kind of temporarily moved it up. But we're going to go ahead and install this. Well, I got to paint it first, but we're going to go ahead and install it after I paint it. And see how it works uh, so now is what we're gonna do push the plate up get our position point of mount drill our holes for our mounting so we got that all done and uh, prime it paint it and assemble so be back with you peace all right guys got it all cut out got the holes for the mounting points going ahead and just doing a quick primer on it we'll let that dry up hopefully it's not too cool it's about 45 48 so we'll let that dry up and put a coat of paint on it and then we'll put it in action catch up with you in a minute all right everyone i got everything mounted up got the plate painted black got the holes drilled out for the knobs i had to take the knobs off to insert i got the uh the proportion i mounted here with just a, a piece of conduit i could show you guys on the other side here kind of give you guys an idea how we mounted it if you can see that or not but there's a piece of conduit strap so we just use a plastic strap you got your bleach soap and your water so i need to get some labels made so i can label my h2o soap and sh and we've got the sh off we got the soap just all the way on because there's no soap in a bucket yet we're still doing all our testing but uh, i do have some soap in our bleach tank i always you know instead of having a, a batch a, a tank for downstreaming and a tank for uh, soft washing I just add a, a lemonade to that a little extra soap when I'm doing a roof is not gonna hurt so got soap all the way on waters all the way on and the bleach if you see these knobs is one through five so if you're using a 10% it's easy to say that you know you go to one it's it's one percent two is two percent you know because you get diluted in with water right so five is five percent for a roof if you're using 12 and a half just a little bit over maybe 1.2 not bad so in this case, let's crack the SH open to, let's say, two. All right, well, we got this here. Just spraying it on this dirty ass fence. <coughs> see if we can pull some soap. You, you see soap um, here in a minute. And I got the pump mounted to the deck of the trailer, so not a big deal. 
And the proportion, it came out nice. I will say, when I took it apart or took it off to mount it to the plate, that I did have a crack in one. I did notice a crack in one. So I brought it back to the local pool company. They were cool enough to just swap it out for me. So any recommendations I would have is just buy the GF valves. I should have bought them originally. I, I didn't. And we got 250 for the hose here. So it takes probably a minute uh, to get soap. So, you know, always be cognizant of that, especially when you're getting finished with the job. So when you're wrapping up a roof, you know, you want to clean out the system. You want to turn that bleach off before. Here you go. We got soap. You can see it's white now. So we got soap. So, you know, be cognizant of that because uh, uh, you can rinse out your uh, tank, I mean, your pump and your proportioner. Of course, I don't have a rinse valve on this bleach with a proportioner. So it is what it is. So if I turn the bleach off, got the water open. So, oh, everything's open. It'll take about another minute or two to get rid of this bleach. Just because, again, we got 250 foot of Flexzilla half inch hose on a, on a five and a half gallon minute pump. So, but yeah, I love the design. I love the convenience factor. I love that it's underneath the soft force reel. So it's, it's, it's you know, related to that reel. So that's really nice. Uh, I'm glad I decided to put it there instead of on the IBC tote. It just, to me, looks a lot more professional and it makes more sense. Uh, it took a little bit more work, but ain't no big deal. That's what we do, man. But we're still getting some soap or bleach. So we should be uh, clear here in a minute. I did notice that, you know, going through the proportioner, and I, I again, I didn't try to use as many 90s as I, if I could use a straight I, I, fitting, I, I did. But I did notice it seemed like I lost a little bit of distance. So I don't know what that's about. You know, I, I got to fine tune the system. So we're still getting bleach. So this is what I'm talking about. When you're getting toward the end of that roof job, close it off early, man. Okay, here you go. It's all water. So, so yeah. So we're good there. Good there. So anyway, that's my uh, proportion amount. Everything's, like I said, set up. I am in the process of ordering the parts very soon to build that IGX 800 with a U-door pump, eight gallon a minute, 3,500 PSI pressure washer that's gonna go right here. And I'm, I plan to build that myself. And I, I, of course I get to video that, but once we get that added to this whole system, it's money making time, baby. Of course, it's always something, as you know. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys watching, subbing, and all the comments. Keep them coming, and I'll look to you in the next video. Peace.